Hey YouTube, Navy98. So today I've got part two of the series I'm doing on printing out some 3D files of common MilSerp accessories that I found online uh, open source, meaning uh, free for anybody to go download 3D files and print them out themselves. So last week I did a, a video on some Carcano accessories, namely an M-block clip, a single shot adapter, and some snap caps. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll put a link to it below. Um, those all turned out pretty well with the exception of the M-block clip. In that video, I also go a little bit more in depth on my 3D printing setup, where I find these files out and some of the background on uh, printing out and modeling some of these files for your use. I also have a giveaway in that video, so if you haven't checked that out and you want to have a chance to win some 3D printed Carcano accessories, uh, go leave a comment on that video and subscribe. And I'm actually going to extend that giveaway to the end of May. So May 31st will be the drop dead date for comments uh, to be entered in that giveaway. Uh, so as I mentioned in that video, I decided to split this uh, up into two videos. This one's going to be on the uh, Swiss Schmidt Rubin uh, rifle accessories. Uh, I have a K31 here that I'll be testing these out on. But uh, if you go on Thingiverse and again, check out the Carcano video if you want to learn about that. There's actually quite a few 3D files on there uh, for Swiss rifles. Uh, but the main one I'm going to try out today are the, uh, the stripper clips. So this is an original. And these are getting to be a little bit pricey now, 25 to 30 bucks online. Uh, and these are, uh, you know, the old cardboard and metal version. Uh, which weren't really intended to be multiple use uh, by the Swiss, but it is cool to have an original. Um, so I'll be comparing the 3D versions to that original version uh, in this Swiss K31 rifle that I have. But also I found that there's some snap caps on there uh, and some other accessories, including an extended 10 round magazine for the K31. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to print that out at some point and do another video later on down the road on that. It does take a little bit of work to do a magazine spring for it and, and whatnot, but I will uh, go ahead and try to do that and see how that goes. If it's successful, I'll go ahead and post a video on that because somebody did leave a comment on that Carcano uh, video about printing out magazines. And I was a little bit skeptical on it. So we're gonna try it out at some point. But here's what we're going to do. So we've got the original here. Uh, I had to have it loaded with uh, some GP11 rounds. Uh, unfortunately, I only have uh, two of these um, A-Zoom snap caps uh, for the rifle. And I do want to load up a full clip of these. So I am using some live GP11 rounds. When I test this out in my rifle, I'll go ahead and take the bolt out just for additional safety. Uh, so this doesn't turn into a gun fail video instead of a 3D printed uh, video although it would get probably more views than this is going to get. Uh, next up, we'll check out, check out the um, you know, popular aftermarket plastic clip that's available. I believe this is from Northridge. And I believe that uh, Milsurp World, uh, that uh, YouTube channel, did a video of this uh, on this a few years back. If you haven't checked that out, go check their channel out. Um, I'm sure if you're watching my channel, you already know about them, but it's an awesome channel if you collect Milsurps. And then we're gonna be testing out the three main files that I found online, um, 3D printed versions of these. So I used PLA uh, as my filament for all these. It's not the most sturdy, but I figure if it lasts with a PLA version and has no issues, then definitely printing it up in a more durable plastic like ABS or PETG uh, will be much better, but this will be a good quick test uh, so you have this one here, which is, let's go ahead and compare these real quick. So we have the North Ridge, and you see that um, it's a little bit bigger than the original clip. And we'll go ahead and take a look to see how these fit in, in the gun itself. So you see it's a little bit longer, um, but otherwise has kind of the same shape and form factor. This first 3D printed one here and this is, let me just make sure I got this straight so I'm giving these people credit. Uh, this is by a user on Thingiverse that goes by the name of Lucite. 
Uh, this is kind of very, very close to, again, the original here. And let's see how that looks. Again, a little bit bigger overall. Next up is a little bit different version because it's got this uh, closed in end uh, on the right side as opposed to typically it's open. Um, nice Swiss cross on the side here. And that's actually almost spot on to the original. And then finally, very similar again, except uh, this has a you know square cut out on the bottom instead of the circular or the curved. Um, so kind of similar there. However, this one does have this plate on the bottom, which you can go ahead and put that together and keep your rounds in there. However, uh, I, do, I did find that this falls out. So we'll take a look at that one, mainly to see how it feeds the rounds into the gun. And then with this version right here, he also printed up these dummy rounds. However, they do not, I already tested these out. Uh, I could just see by looking at them that they weren't gonna work well in the, in the rifle. Uh, let me just show you the comparison real quick. So here I have the A-Zoom snap cap on the right uh, with the snap cap that I found uh, on the left online. You can see there's quite a bit of difference down here and then up here as well. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from this video, but uh, this snap cap is a lot longer than the actual uh, round itself, so it would not feed uh, into the rifle when I tried it out. So if you're thinking about printing these out off of Thingiverse, uh, I don't recommend it because they're not going to work. Uh, this model could be modified to work uh, if you wanted to, um, but as is, this does not work. So let's go ahead and take a look to see how these rounds feed in the different uh, stripper clips. All right, so like I said, the, the bolt is out of the rifle here, so we're not gonna get any kind of accidental discharge or anything like that. Uh, first of all, we'll go ahead and take out or test out the, uh, the original Swiss uh, clips here. And if you see, uh, it fits in there quite nicely, just like it should, since it's made for this. Uh, no issues at all. And this is gonna be a little bit awkward because I'm reaching over the camera here and the rifle to do this, but No issues at all, as you would expect from an original stripper clip. So given that as a baseline, let's go ahead and check out these other uh, 3D printed versions. All right, next up here is the Northridge uh, Repro Plastic Stripper Clip. I believe this is around $15 on their website and on eBay. Uh, it's made of, I believe this is like an ABS type plastic, so you could definitely 3D print uh, one of those models I showed you earlier uh, out of ABS and be very similar to this. Um, it does have the tabs bent, bent in a little bit here. Uh, you could probably bend those in a little bit more. So the first thing I notice here, and you saw this when I was doing a little bit of comparison at the beginning, that this clip is a little bit big. So I have to bend it and like push it forward a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of bending. Um, but that's, that's the main difference there. It doesn't, it's not a nice smooth fit like the original. So now that that's in there, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, you know, about the same. There was a little bit of problem at the end, but that was probably just me. Um, you know, this should be just fine. There shouldn't be any difference really, except for the way that bends in there. So maybe it caught up a little bit. All right, so take two on this Northridge clip. Again, it kind of have to finagle it in there because it doesn't quite fit right. And again, it's not as smooth as the original clip. I'm not sure if it's because of that bendiness and it's a little bit oversized or not, or if it's just me potentially. Um, but definitely not as smooth. Right, so next up is this three, the first 3D printed version uh, that I found. Um, this one's by a designer named Lucite. A very similar design to the original clip. Uh, open, you know, curved on this side, open on this side. Um, the one thing I am a little bit concerned about here, especially with the PLA, PLA filament, is this tab right here and this tab right here. 
Uh, I just see those as being a high failure point. Um, it's just, there's not a lot of plastic there. And if you just cock this in there the wrong way or just bend it the wrong way, I have a feeling that that could break off fairly easily. Uh, otherwise, it's a nice design. So let's go ahead and try this. Uh, go ahead and set it in there. So it is a little bit tight. It's not, it's not like the North Ridge where I have to bend it to get it in there, but it's slightly oversized and it's kind of dragging a little bit. I'll go ahead and load this guy up. And they fed in there okay. Again, a little bit of finagling. Um, the clips actually made it intact, so uh, not bad. However, if I were to print this and use this full time, I'd definitely print this out with a ABS plastic or PETG plastic uh, just for more durability. So here's the next 3D printed um, model that I made. So this is by a designer named Simon Wolf. A little bit different design. It's closed here on the end. It's got the nice Swiss logo here. Um, it does have some clips inside to retain the rounds. Go ahead, same deal, you know. Go ahead and stick this guy in. And this is actually a much nicer fit. Uh, you notice the rounds do come out a little bit at the front, but as far as fitment con is concerned, it's pretty much like the original. Uh, not too large, not too small, kind of fits in there just, just right. Go ahead and try this. Not much of an issue there. Finally, here's the last model. This was the one that's got the little uh, cap that you can put on the end. However, it doesn't really fit on there that well. So I don't know how much use that is. But I could see if you're putting into a um, into a leather uh, magazine pouch, that might be useful, I'm not sure. So this is done by, uh, I'm not sure I just pronounced this name. It's all one large word. It's like Paula, Paula Chaton, something like that. Um, same deal there with the shaking and then fit fits great kind of just like the last one fits really well in there we'll go ahead and see how this goes that's kind of my fault there on the end I didn't get my thumb in there all the way but again uh, no real issues there so we'll go ahead and go to some conclusions real quick all right here are my uh, observations after all this obviously the original clip is going to be the best. I mean, it was designed for this rifle. A lot of thought went into it, design work, everything else. Um, it works great like it should. However, like I said at the beginning, these are like 25 bucks online. Uh, you know, you have the North Ridge here, which is like $15 online. But I calculated the costs on printing any of these other models out, and it amounts to about 35 cents per one of these. So you can do the math there. Uh, definitely a lot of cost savings if you have a 3D printer and you wanna print these out yourself. Again, I would recommend using a more durable plastic like ABS or PETG. Um, but these all seem to work, you know, about equally well. These are kind of my rankings for, uh, you know, this, this use and I had some other experimentation uh, outside of this video on it. Obviously, the original is the first. However, cost, um, if cost is an issue, that gets thrown out. Uh, I really like this design. I like the Swiss logo on the side. Um, it does seem to be very smooth. It fits in the, uh, fits in the rifle very well. Uh, so, you know, I think that I thought that worked pr pretty well. This one is very similar. Um, I prefer the rounded cutout. That's really the only difference there. This one, again, it's just a little bit oversized. And I, don't, I bought this, you know, many years ago. Maybe they've corrected it since then, but it's just a little bit oversized for my rifle. And just bending it in there, it just uh, it didn't work out that great. And then last but not, le not least uh, was this design. And I just think it's too prone to breakage. Uh, this area right here is a little bit too thin. And then I talked about those tabs here on the bottom. But again... Uh, really, at 35 cents a pop, um, even if you were to print this one time and it broke, you, know, you can't really go wrong there. You can print a ton of these. So uh, I hope you like this kind of video. Uh, 
Let me know if this is something you want me to continue uh, doing videos on. Uh, there are other products on Thing Thingiverse for other rifles that I could do. Uh, if there's something in particular that you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I could 3D model it and do some trial and error and test it myself. Um, other than this going out and finding open source uh, files that are already available. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to print out that extended 10 round K31 magazine and test that out. If that all goes well, I'll do a video on that. Um, that'll take some uh, trial and error to do as well. But uh, let me know what you think. And again, uh, go back to that Carcano video if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, enter the giveaway there. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, this is Navy 98 saying, Go Navy.